What is up YouTube, Jamos here, and in this video, we are going to check out the latest updates Apple released for the iPhone. Starting off, Apple released iOS 15.4 recently. We're going to go over the major features that they mentioned in the patch notes. Here's a change log for all the features. As mentioned before, we're going to go over the major ones in this video. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and check out the physical update to the iPhone. And that is the March 2022 green edition of the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro. This is the 13 model. So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing of that. Not much has changed, it's just the color, the shade of green, as you can see. And go over the box contents. You do get a USB-C cable for your lightning. Still no charger though. And then the usual paperwork. And you get one Apple sticker. Okay, let's get to the demonstration portions. We're gonna start off with the face ID part. So let's go ahead and get into that real quick. I noticed while editing in post that the green really didn't show up in the video. So here's a better look at the green color on the iPhone 13. Now we're gonna check out the new additions to face ID. So first off, we're gonna enter the passcode, go to settings, Go to Face ID and Passcode. Enter that passcode. And then set up Face ID. I have an assistant here to demonstrate this. He's gonna set up Face ID as you would normally. Okay, and as you see, a new menu pops up. This is brand new to 15.4. You can now use Face ID in full with a mask. So you're gonna select that and then continue setting a Face ID. And this will allow you to pay make payments, authorize apps, and um, basically anything that Face ID lets you do before. But this time you can do it with a mask on. So this is perfect for our current times. Also in the settings, you can see that you can also add glasses. So if you wear glasses, you can now use native support for glasses as well. One thing to note is that you can only use one feature at a time. So if you need to use a mask, you cannot use the glasses function and vice versa. So hopefully they fix that in the future. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate using Face ID with the mask on. And as you see, it unlocks as normal. Pretty cool. For Siri, they added a new voice for diversity and also improved on device functionality. In an emergency call SOS, they added a feature where you can hold the volume buttons to initiate a emergency call. And that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned before, iOS 15 has a bunch of other features, but we only went over the major ones in this video. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe because it really helps me out and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.